can you tell me what is it you have studied extra under finance angle uh, actually uh, in the syllabus they have mentioned about ifrs so okay. uh, uh, so uh, in respect i was trying to uh, um, uh, read the cf final notes of, uh, of uh, in days mm -hmm. acha mm. so for i don't know whether i have shared that credit officers files with you but uh, if i if i share more then more confusion <laughs> that is the case no sir uh, i mean uh, our our interview that was scheduled tomorrow uh, was uh, rescheduled i mean postponed they didn't uh, give the new date acha acha a uh, what for you it was dated as uh, 6th december yes. as it has it been postponed yes sir yes sir your interview is scheduled to be conducted where uh, uh that new schedule has not been published yet no, no. i mean they when, when you was what uh, it was on 6th tomorrow are bhai humne pooch raha hu when you kya tha kidhar tha kolkata sir kolkata even kolkata they have postponed why Uh, yes, I mean they mentioned that uh, the team has not reached in Kolkata due to the storm. Yeah, yeah, because of the storm. Correct. Yes. Because the flights were not going yesterday, you know. Yes, sir. And even today, whether all flights are going, I don't know. Yeah. So okay. So that means you are getting some more days for your interview. Maybe one more week. Yes, so I mean uh, all the scheduled. Uh, I mean all the interviews are scheduled till seventeenth. So mm -hmm. except that maybe, is, uh, uh, maybe yes. it will be postponed after that also. It, yes, sir. yeah. I don't know. It can be to suit their convenience. Very good, excellent. Then Ganeshan, you are appearing for which interview? Ganeshan. Sir, AFO, sir. Good evening, sir. Ah, uh, good evening. AFO for Karnataka Bank. Correct. Ah yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, good, good. You are from which? Uh, district? Sir, I am from Virunagar district, Tamil Nadu, sir. Acha, good. Yes, I sir. think we have discussed earlier, na? Correct. Uh, when no, is, sir. When is, no, when is your interview? Sir, twelfth December, sir. Morning eight thirty a.m., sir. Yes, sir. We have not discussed earlier. Acha. See, were you yeah, able yes, sir, to? Yes. Were you able to download the materials? Because unfortunately, your um, folder is in a zip form could you download that ha ah, yes sir few materials i download sir you direct avand paakra mari vathinga sir very good you are looking directly into this good so ah, yes, now sir. um okay very good now we will go to the next boy nick next person nikhil nikhil you are appearing for which interview good evening sir good evening sir i am appearing for any naacl ao Interview on the twenty sixth of December. Hurry, boy! It... So you are so lucky. Already they have given you twenty days time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This time, what? this time the luck luck has been kind to me. So what to study? How to study? That is a um, this thing, you know. But one thing today, one girl attended. I I have posted a video of that, namely Federal Bank interview. they in okay, so went very simply that is they did not ask any banking question they did not ask any finance question the candidate was mba finance they asked only very very simple questions like the questions are given like this yeah, yeah where is it mm, recent one mm, this one i have already posted it there okay sir so this is these are the questions they have asked any banking people um, ganeshan please read this the question are you seeing acha you are not seeing on the screen correct i have not shared it ganeshan please read the question Ganeshan, you are able to hear me. Ganeshan, are you able to hear me? Is my sound coming or not? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, you are connected. Yeah, yeah, I'm connected. Acha, acha. 
Ganesan, why you are not able to talk? Perhaps he is not able to listen to me. Ganesan. Ganesan, why you are not able sir, to hear? Sir, audible, sir. Now audible. Why you were not able to hear? I am shouting for the last two minutes. Sir, Gunjo, idhar the sir. Network, sir. Network problem. Then it's okay. Yeah, we yes, are, sir, Achha, sir. Sir. You are from Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu yes, problem. Sir. Virudhunagar problem. Yes, sir. Yes. See, read the questions that have been asked today for a candidate who has appeared for a PBO interview. Please read. You can't read. Yeah. Uh, Anubhav sir. Magesh. Yeah, Anubhav Magesh, you are appearing for which interview? Sir, I completed my uh, KBLPO interview today. Acha, congratulations. Very good. Very Thank good. you, sir. How happy am I in getting a person who has attended the interview? That is really happy. Um, Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, in fact, uh, um, Karnataka Bank questions also, I am giving in the same folder, same page at the end. So maybe um, it will come towards the end. What are the questions they ask? Please explain about um, your experience. You had your interview in which place? Sir, I had my interview at New Delhi. Uh, it was in the morning slot. So I was number three and my interview got over by 10 a.m. It, it was over by 10 a.m.? Yes, sir. At 10 3, I left the Karnataka Bank building. Really? So quickly? What is your yes, degree? Sir. What is your degree? Sir, yes, sir. My uh, graduation is in BLLB honors. I am a law graduate. Oh, acha, 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 acha. You are from which state? Jharkhand? Sir, Uttar Pradesh. Acha, Uttar Pradesh. Yeah, how was the interview? How did they receive you? How long did they take the interview? Sir, before me, there were two persons. So there was a girl. Her interview lasted for six to seven minutes. Then there was a boy. His interview lasted for 12 minutes. And then my interview lasted for around 20 minutes. Very good. Now tell me how the interview went about. Sir, initially they asked me to to introduce myself. Then the very usual question: Why I'm not Why I'm not going for litigation and why bank in general? And sir, then they asked me some uh, law related questions, specifically about the Supreme Court, the judgments of the Supreme Court, landmark judgment, and uh, so I told them some of the judgments. So they also asked my views about the same. Yeah. And sir, they asked me about the recent happening of governor versus CM. So mm -hmm. they asked me what are my views upon it, what Supreme Court is saying on it. Governor versus CM. Achha. Yes, sir. So the, this issue is going on in Tamil, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So what governors are doing is they are not signing on the, they are not finalizing the bills that have been passed by the state legislations. Mm. And um, uh, so what, what, how did you react to this? Sir, so uh, I completed my graduation in law that too with constitutional honors. So it was like a, a easy play for me. So I told them the articles. I told them what Supreme Court has recently said. What are the guidelines on it? Is there any time limit on it? So they were really happy about my what, explanation. What has the Supreme Court told recently? Uh, sir, yes, sir. As per the Supreme Court, the governor like should not be indulging in such activities in which they are sitting on a bill which has been passed by the legislation for three years. So, uh, per se, under the Constitution, there is no specific guideline in which a governor has to give assent to a bill. But, sir, as per the Supreme Court, because uh, an executive and legislation works side by side, this friction should not be there. So, a governor uh, should not be sitting on a bill without any reasonable justification excuse. Mm -hmm. Good. So you I told, told them that. You told them that question. Very good. Uh, then, yes, sir. How, then how did it go? Uh, sir, it was really good. And then they asked me the difference between hypothecation pledge and uh, mortgage. So mm -hmm. I told them the section number, the X, all the things. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Now, why don't, why don't you tell what is hypothecation? What is yes, pledge, sir. So that the sir. other candidates will know about it. And when they sure. go for interview, they will use it. Tell. Sure, sir. So, so the difference between hypothecation and pledge is uh, both are done uh, in which a movable property is kept as a security for payment of loan. But the difference lies in hypothecation, the property goes back to the debtor, whereas in uh, pledge, the property remains with the creditor. So, for example, a car or a bike loan is an example of hypothecation. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Um, 
I think you are interchanging. Tell me correctly. Sir, uh, car in bike loan are example of hypothecation. Okay, good. Correct. Yes. So sir. what, what so, happens in the case of hypothecation? So the, in hypothecation, the property is given back to the debtor. You are using, that is why the mistake is you are using wrong terms, you know. So no, the person who takes the loan is known as debtor. No. Yeah, correct. Correct, correct. Yes, <laughs> yes but, sir. But, yeah, but no, no, but in that case, your wording should be the possession remains with the debtor. Or yes, that sir. Is what, yeah. Continue. Yeah. And sir, in a pledge, the possession of the property goes to the creditor. Good. Exactly. Example. For example, good loan. Exactly. Very good. That's correct. And yes. how, sir, how did they, so how they did were they happy do? about it. Hmm. And then they asked me, what about uh, a mortgage? So I told them that as per section 58 of Transfer of Property Act, mortgage is a transfer of specific interest in a immobile property for the purpose of securing a loan or a future debt. So mm -hmm. then they asked me, Ki, is there any compulsion for the registration of the mortgage? So I told them, yes, under section 59, if a property is more than 100 rupees in value, the mortgage has to be compulsory registered. So, so then they asked me if a person has two mortgage, one is secured, one is by uh, by the deed, registered deed, and one is without the registered deed. So who will get the preference? So I told them the secured creditor will get preference over unsecured one. No, and no, 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 no. You, your answer seems to be vague. Both are secured, na. Both are yes, mortgages. Sir. Both are mortgages. Yes, sir. Then what is the answer for that? I think we may... uh, yes, sir. So the interviewer told me this that if both are secured, so I told them, sir, I am not aware of the same. Uh, yo, the, the reason here is like this. You say the say one mortgage has been registered, whereas the other mortgage has not been registered. Now, which will take priority? Again, there can be different situations. You can say depending on the date of the mortgage that will be given priority. Then okay, you sure. can also say, depending on which mortgage has been registered, that will give get priority. But I yes. think the second is correct. First cannot be correct because the hmm. documents can be altered in such a way to change the date to the prior date before the registered mortgage also. So the yes, registered sir. mortgage is a doc document which has been um, entered into the books. I think I will go in favor of giving, say, registered mortgage. Okay. Yes, sir. So I told the same, but when they asked me for the reason, I said, sir, I am not aware of the same. So they were happy. Okay. okay. Uh, you are not guessing anything. If you are not aware, that's okay. Yeah. Then? Uh, sir, they also asked me, huh, so this all questions were asked to me by a single interviewer who asked me all the law related questions then the uh, then the sec second interviewer asked me about the banking related questions mm. first question was what is internet uh, digital banking mm. so what? i told him uh, about the basics of digital banking that i was aware of then he asked me about e wallets uh, then he asked me about cryptocurrencies and then he asked me that there are very limited branches in uttar, uttar pradesh of kbl so i told him sir there are 11 branches only and mm -hmm. so further he asked me, are you willing to relocate? So I said, yes, I'm willing to relocate. Mm -hmm. Good. So this yes. was my interview. Only that much? Yes, sir. Sir, but it took time. So the Supreme Court cases, which he asked, the landmark ones. So the, the single question took me like four to five minutes because he was going in depth. So what I the, told him that. What, uh, are, sir, the so I, what are the landmark uh, judgments you told? Sir, the first uh, judgment which I told was case one and Bharti. So mm -hmm. he he was very happy about it. Then he asked me who was Kiswanand Bharti. So I told him that he was leader of a mud. Then second judgment, which I told was ADM Jabalpur versus Shivkan Shukla. This is known as ABS Corpus case. Then he asked me what is ABS Corpus. Mm -hmm. uh, then he, uh, sir, he also asked me, what do you understand by uh, Amicus Cure? Uh, sir, it is a Latin term, which means friend of court. Mm -hmm. So he also asked me this. And then, sir, I told him about the latest judgment of same-sex marriage, mm -hmm. the constitutional bench judgment, which was given last last month. So yeah. he uh, asked me about what are my views on the same. So I told him that I agree with the Supreme Court. Excellent. <laughs>
sir so i i was really shocked that my interview was so much law centric i was hoping that it would be banking centric but they asked me like 70% of questions were law specific and that too in depth not in general they were going in depth of the cases they were asking me about the constitutionality of laws they were asking me what is a constitutional bench how many judges are there hmm. all these things that is correct only that is how it has to be because they would like to know whether you understand what you have studied whether you are remembering what you have studied and how did you justify you are not going for practice sir i told them that i have done various internships during my law school and i do not find it like uh, interesting or and also sir i because i am a first generation lawyer it would be very difficult for me to establish my practice and it would take me nearly 10 to 15 years and i do not possess that much amount of time or liberty excellent good i think your interview is good and thank you thanks for coming and sharing your